In this drawing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw buildings using two-point linear perspective. First, you do want to practice drawing basic boxes before moving on to buildings. So make sure you check out the video that I created for that worksheet first. Now, when you're ready to start drawing buildings on your building worksheet, begin by drawing two vanishing points on a horizon line. The horizon line should be parallel to the top and bottom of your paper, and I would place the vanishing points on the outside left and right edges. Next, you're going to draw a vertical line low on your paper. This is going to be the front corner of the building that is closest to the viewer. Make your line end under the horizon line. Now, connect the top and the bottom of that line to both vanishing points. This is the same process that you would have used to create a box below the horizon line on your box worksheet. Next, you're going to decide how wide you want the sides of your building to be and draw vertical lines to end the building. Next, you will draw the rooftop. Begin by connecting the right top corner to the left vanishing point and the left top corner to the right vanishing point. Where the lines cross is the back corner of that building. Now you can erase your guidelines. But when erasing the guidelines, consider keeping the bottom. These lines could become a sidewalk or a road. So basically what you want to start envisioning is that this first building that you created is the building on the corner of a street. And now you're going to start your next building and it's going to be along the same street that you've already drawn. So I started with a vertical line and now I'm connecting the top of the line to both vanishing points. You're going to want to connect the bottom of the line to both vanishing points too. And you're going to see the most common mistake made in two-point perspective building drawings. Now look here. It's easy to forget an important line. The bottom of that first corner, that first middle line I drew, needs to be drawn towards the vanishing point as well to show the bottom of the right side of the building. See how the placement of that line now shows the end of the building? Now we can erase the space between the buildings and you could make that look like it's a road or a sidewalk or a path going between the buildings. As you create your scene, consider placing a building attached to another building. You could think of this like a townhouse. So you can use the wall that you already have on one building and just bring the line up a little bit higher. This way it's going to look like the buildings are touching each other. As I draw my lines towards the vanishing point, I'm now stopping and not making them go all the way to the vanishing point. I'm giving myself less to erase. But look what's happening. Since my rooftop is going to be very close to the horizon line, I end up with just a very awkward straight line. It's always best to have your buildings either rise way above or way below the horizon line because having them be very close to the horizon line just gives an awkward appearance, at least in my opinion. Something else to consider is that overlapping buildings will create more depth. So by placing a building behind these other buildings, I'm able to make it look like I have a very tall building very far away. Since this building crosses far above the horizon line, I'm only needing to draw two sides of the building. There's no rooftop that could be seen. You want to create at least four or more buildings when practicing on this worksheet. I'm going to make a fifth building, and this time I'm making my building closer to the vanishing point on the right. And you'll see that this makes it a little bit distorted. The closer you get to a vanishing point, the more distortion you'll see on that one side. Because remember, the vanishing points are the areas that are furthest away from the viewer. Now remember to always check your work, especially the bottom. Here's that 
error again that a lot of people make. A lot of times I see people forgetting this final line that needs to be drawn. So using my ruler, I'm going to draw a line. My ruler touched the vanishing point and I was able to correctly end the bottom of the left side of that building. And now I can erase all of my guidelines, including where the horizon line is going through my building. I can create a little sidewalk or path that goes between the buildings. And then the fun really begins. You can start adding windows, doors, and all kinds of things to your scene. If you feel like trying to draw things like street signs, cars, trees, parks, you can even experiment with that as well. Just remember to always use your ruler and use your two vanishing points for all lines that recede into the distance. Also remember that objects that are further away not only appear to be smaller, but they also appear to be closer together. If you're creating things like sidewalks and you wanna show the lines between the different sections of the sidewalk, keep that in mind. You want to make your lines get closer together as they get closer to the vanishing point. I hope this video has helped you in understanding how to draw buildings using two-point perspective. If you need to watch it again and pause the video while you work on your worksheet, please feel free to do so. Check the description of this video for a link to a copy of the worksheet that you can download and print off for yourself. Thanks for watching.